Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And guys, welcome to another road trip with me because nowadays, as always, I'm on the road. And um, I wanted to share something with you about the flat earth theory. Um, well, which to me is not a theory, it's a reality. Um, but anyway, I'm driving through Nebraska and out of all the 50 states, I think I hate Nebraska with all my being. No offense to anybody who lives in Nebraska, but it's just flat. And um, I've looked out across the landscape going out through here uh, for miles and miles and miles. You see cornfields and then you see um, a barn way out in the middle of nowhere or a granary. And it just occurred to me, you know, at, at that conjuncture right there above all else, is if you look at NASA's mathematics for the angular drop over a set amount of distance, and now you can notice this in Texas too, it actually, I found some place in Texas it's like ridiculously flat as well. Um, but anyway, if you look, for example, uh, I'm gonna get up here in just a second, it's about to get flat out again, but uh, you take the figures that NASA gives, and I'll put it in the video description below, and you do the math with this, you go out to a place hopefully in an area where you live, and you look over an immense amount of distance that you know the landmark is X amount of distance away. And then you go back to the place that you're wanting to view it from that you know that's a set distance as well. Just like look out through here, you see what I'm saying? All right, I can see a structure way out yonder, right? All right, well the problem with that is, is um, if I take NASA's mathematics and I program you know, I plot it out on my paperwork, I, or my calculator, whatever, and I plug those numbers in, you're gonna have an error because NASA says that the drop should be X amount over a distance, but whenever I put distance to between uh, point A to point B, and I don't see no drop, somebody's got their math wrong. And it ain't me because I'm going over what the big man said that gets paid by the feds. You know, we all pay our taxes so that the, the big wigs up at NASA can figure all this out for us, right? So anyway, flat earth, a flat plane, welcome to the fishbowl. All right, we do not live on a globe because if we lived on a globe, I would not be able to, especially like I've been in Alberta, Canada to um, experience this, is you would not be able to see a granary five, six miles out, you and, and it's flat as day, you would not be able to see that um, using the mathematics from NASA. Why? Because the thing should be bent, you know, going down over the curvature, and yet it's not. And, uh, you know, th the best advice I can give to you people is if you can't understand and accept that, I mean, you know, you might think I'm stupid, and that's totally up to you to believe if you want. Um, but my advice is quit drinking the fluoride water, quit eating the GMOs, and crunch the mathematics on a paper, um, and you'll see what I'm saying. There's some great examples out there also um, that people have demonstrated using the ocean is that in areas where that you can see a landmark out away from there, say like a lighthouse, okay, over a long distance, and then they go back and hash that out over the distance between the two points of reference. Um, that is within the field of where you can take NASA's mathematics, plug it in, and um, and they they pointed it out where they've got into it with college people's gotten into a college professors because they're like, oh, that can't be right. And then when you go out to the actual location, you put the numbers in between point A to B, and there's no angular drop. Well, you just uh, you're cobbed up. So anyway, one last time, take you a great look out there at flat Earth. Um, Sorry to break it to all the globalists out there, but um, that's the world we live in. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, guys, I will catch you next time, and I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.